up those brakes, huh? Getting them nice and tight. Um, I'm Ami Pulley Tsai Funk. This guy right here is Marcus2389. You can follow us on our, guys. on our Twitter accounts. We've got them posted there. Um, I'm, I'm a happy Ami right now, Marcus. We're, we're seeing some, some tough fights. Uh, what's your analysis of the way these two guys played in the games one and two? Uh, okay, overall I think that both of them played Soviets much better than how they played the Germans. And I think that this time Ivan capitalized more on his good window of opportunity when he got the advantage with those T70s, while MG Pop uh, didn't capitalize on, on his flame out track that he lost badly. In game that was, one. That was an exciting moment. Because that was exciting. I, Ivan was he was running in with three conscript squads and you could just see it, there was one moment where the flame half track was pointing its flames like one at each yeah. squad and both flames were like and both squads were running forward and you could see their health just going and then they're just trying to get off that last 18 8 and then I thought for sure that all they would do was get it abandoned, right? There was a second where it was abandoned. Yeah. And Ivan must have seen that and he's like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Like now <laughs> of all times, you're gonna be abandoned and you're gonna let him recapture this thing and maybe bring it back to life. So it looks like he stayed in the fight just a little bit longer somehow. I mean, when I, when I, when I would have seen the thing blow, I would have retreated. You know, but he yeah. somehow stayed for that extra second to, with small arms fire to like kill the wreck. I mean, did I even yeah. see it right? It happened so fast. You saw it right. I mean, he just he prayed RNG God and he died. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that was a really really important moment, and it was thrilling and exciting. I, I loved it. So, this is good stuff. You know, th this this contender bout number two is shaping up just the way we like them. We're one one after two. So our best of five series is now a best of three. And I just got to one more time show you guys these competitors. This is Vaughn Ivan in the shades and OMG Pop rocking the, rocking the, the military uh, helmet, the, rocking the hard steel cap um, in contender bout number two. And here we go. We're going to move venues. We're going to go into um, game three. Let me take us in game. Different map. That's right. Well, kind of. It's kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Same right. map, different season. I'm in game. I'm still following Pop. I'm going to stick with him as blue for uh, the duration of our fights tonight. Ivan is back on the Wehrmacht as red. Um, overlay, bing, sound off. Okay, Marcus, I'm ready. Count me in, baby. I'm ready too. Okay, let's start in five, four, Three, two, one, and pause. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So, what changes between summer and winter? Let's do a quick analysis. First of all, there are no any more um, frozen lakes, else. so frozen rivers. So, there are less possible ways to get to points. Which is the reason because I, th I said uh, it's better for Germans playing on winter version than on summer one. Because in the summer map, 
houses are still are even more important. And since Soviets have an easier time dealing with houses in general, due to Molotovs that are pretty much what you always get, it's better for Germans having more options to avoid the houses taking different directions. So Ivan this time it seems like he learned from the game versus MG Pop and he's capping the north. Okay, we have similar builds coming out. Um, uh, I, I I would like to see perhaps one mortar maximum <laughs> from Von Eisen yeah. in this game. I mean, when he built the third one, it, that must have just been... I, I, I think I've seen him stream where in losing situations he'll just build mortars. I think that that's uh, just some kind of like trolling or whatever. I don't know what that is, but... Uh, Where did got? <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> would be that part. No, that was that was just odd. That was some kind of statement. I don't know. It was it wasn't him playing to win anymore. So we'll yeah. see. We'll see if he builds a mortar in this in this all important game three. So we're down to a best of three series. Um, I wonder if we're gonna make it to Langerskaya, our first uh, ace game in a contender we'll bout. Okay, yeah, there is a mortar coming after the third grand year. He, got, he did a very <laughs> okay. interesting move. He got the church so he could see where MG Pop was spreading his units. All right, he, let me I give you, so let me give you some, some viz for Von Ivan. I've switched yeah. to him. And look at, you can see Pop dancing out of the line of sight of that church. You know, it's, I love it that um, buildings with a second floor window actually see further than buildings that are only one floor. Yeah. Uh, that's a really nice, subtle detail of the game. All right, I'm following back, Fog of War back off, and we see the house garrisoning has begun. These guys hop in one, and maybe hop Angie out Pop and hop in another. Already going to to cut the part, the another cut off to uh, Ivan, so he, he will not be able to get those uh, that set plus seven fuel. Mm -hmm. uh, and Ivan is reacting, he's sending a grand squad on, in the north and he's calling another grand, so it's four grand years uh, up in, uh, in a few seconds. And that mortar might be, I, I mean, in general I think that a mortar versus uh, MG Pop is not a bad choice, because MG Pop uses buildings pretty much every time. Uh, I'm just uh, feared about the, the following, the tier one after uh, those three conscripts. So, and the mortar is really countered by the M3s with, flame, with flamers inside. Well, you OMG, lose it. OMG Pop is basically saying if it ain't broke, don't fix it. He's got two M3s queued up and on the way. The okay, yeah, he's, he's using his winning strategy. So. All right, well, Ivan's got to make an adjustment in this game to deal with the M3s. Yes. And I think he is. He has 60 munitions, not getting any uh, upgrade on his uh, tier 0, tier 1 units, and he's getting tier 2. I guess we will see a armored car to counter that those M3s. The first one is already up. Yep. Flamers inside. Flame equipped, here he comes. Second one is on the way. He's going up here to support the, the conscripts, and I guess his first target is these grenadiers. To ensure Ivan won't be able to get his fuel anytime soon. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and instantly they hit the deck. Will they foul? Oh, Ivan's a bit slow to react. What is he doing? You can't just walk by the thing. Boy. What is he doing? Okay. All right, finally they leave. They took a little bit more damage than they should have. Wow, oh. I'm not sure they will survive. Uh, I think they might just. They dashed across that area with the hay barrels very quickly, but look at uh, look at OMG Pop on the pursuit. He's after him. All right, he's given up. They got a break. So um, tell me, Marcus, why we don't see Wehrmacht building the traditional machine guns in Sunday well Night Fights. Done, we are not seeing ours. machine guns a lot because right now they need fire. too much burst to actually uh, suppress units. It, for the MG42, it's actually easier than for the Maxim to pin units, but it's harder to suppress. We are already testing a new change in the beta, uh, increasing the MG42 suppression, because right now uh, it doesn't feel it's, it's worth getting having an MG, unless it vets. When the MG vets, 
uh, like when he gets pet 2, he gets 20% increased suppression and he will get, he will suppress units very fast. But without the pet 2, uh, it's not very good unit to suppress. Indeed. That's why we're not seeing that. I've been following these poor pyos as they get torched and wow, I don't know, how, those pyos did really well to survive and only lose one guy during that entire time that they were being flooded with flames. All right, let's start. The, the pressure seems to be building a bit. At least the music is getting more intense. <laughs> and it seems like Ivan, despite what I said, he, he got a fast, he, he got a tier two upgrade, but I don't think he will get the tier two up. He's getting a sixth grand here, and he has an LMG up, and it, I guess we will eventually see a second LMG upgrade up once he gets his the the southern mission point connected. So once you have a constant mission flow, you will... Alright, I'm wondering, I'm wondering what Pop is waiting for. Finally, he's got some conscripts supporting, and he's waiting, he's got this flag yeah. coming in from the top. He's finally Whoa. circling this position and coming in with everything he has. And Vaughn Ivan is wants to raise oh, that's that very flag, good. but look, he considered Fausting. They got it out of their pockets, so to speak. But then he decided against dead. it, and now we have the chase. And once one down... One's down <laughs> And oh man, I could the the engineers in the M3 just let out a really evil laugh when they killed when they killed that squad. <laughs> it was like Joker. <laughs> okay, we do have a Faust. Oh man, but heavy casualties on the German side. Yeah. This this there's a one man. Oh man, they win this fight with one combat engineer left in that squad. They're gonna start repairing. Oh, Ivan could do with hitting this position right now while it's weak, but he just doesn't have anything. I've, um, Pop is calling in some guards. How is how is Ivan doing in the center? This this squad is down to three. He's been working on them for quite some time. Look at the. It's pretty the fine, but he should care about his mortar. His mortar the church is, is taking some damage. The mortar is being attacked. Uh oh, careful, careful. And now he's All right, game. good retreat. Good retreat. But it's real. This this position was so weak, but now suddenly, look, he, he was able to repair both M3s so quickly. Yeah, now he definitely has to, to center and cut Ivan off, like he's doing. Yeah, he was able to totally cut Ivan. He's not earning any anything yet, anything anymore. All right, Pop Scott, 18 nades, even though. He hasn't seen any vehicles yet. He's just spending his manpower. He's, uh, you know, he's still got decent presence. As soon as he gets this uh, cutoff, uh, this cutoff point near his base, he will be connected to both the the yeah. fuel and the ammo's on the right. He's almost got that flag up. This is an important fight. There, it's captured finally, and everything's reconnected. You can see there's another fight on the west side of the map over here, as Ivan has captured the church. But now the M3s come in, and we know in the last patch that the, the flame damage against buildings is going to be super high, so you can't last long against these guys. He Ivan lost long. the Pioneer, and he got the flame thrower uh, to the to Gren. He gave the flame thrower to Gren. Oh, that's huge. That's really big. Gren's with flames. That is big. Oh, yeah. they, where did where did they get that from? From his own pile? Yeah, from his own pile. Okay, got he doesn't want to lose the squad. This is important. Stay alive, guys. Oh, but he now will escape he will narrowly. Stop control. All right. Okay, so Ivan is going for it. I guess a tier three again. But I'm not really sure about that. I mean, look, now it's the hard part for Ivan. I mean, how is he going to get his points back? Those M3s are are ruling. They ruled in the in the first game. They're, They're so ruling badass. Even now. I, 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 I love that each that the the, the the flamer squad in each of them is down to one guy. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, he should just drink that. Yeah, he should just drive him on home. I, yeah, maybe he's gonna cap with him. I, let's see what he's gonna do. I mean, we've always criticized him for not capping behind his victories. I wonder, is he gonna go home and, or cap? All right, he, uh -huh. looks like he's going home. He's got one little obstacle. Well, I gotta watch he, out for these he's guys. He's gonna get those grants. He's gonna get those grants. Where are they going? Look at they're moving in totally the wrong direction. Look, they're walking into MG fire. Terrible, terrible okay. here. Uh, Ivan he get, doesn't completely want lost to... control of that squad. Okay, maybe it'll, know. maybe it'll help him because it'll mean he'll retreat earlier. Yes. No, no. I mean, I think he he did he took that he the, did that path. 
to and get away them, from this yeah, thing. Let them good call, good call. Yeah, and they will escape with their lives. <laughs> yeah. All right, meanwhile, Ivan's trying to push back the into the center. He's got us. this... Uh, I love this squad with their flamers, these Grens with flames. It's, they're badass. These guys are tough. He should take good care of this squad. They, they're a wonderful and counter to all the houses in the center. Yeah, and now Ivan is getting two MGs. So he's getting like a huge tier one. With two MGs uh, now, this late? Yeah. Oh, are they going to try to use their armor piercing rounds against the M3s? We're about to find out. Uh -oh. He's going to catch it, really? So they don't even have it yet? All right, well, he, he's going to catch him out of position. If he could just kill those single flamer dudes in those cars, they would be, you know, all of their teeth would be removed. But that MG is in trouble uh, now. MG's, that MG doesn't know what's going on. He's obviously working in the center. And, yeah, that's trouble. They're just going to come out and die. It's little mistakes like this that really crippled Ivan in the first game. He can't but just throw a squad away like that. Squad. There it is. I don't know which squad died from RNG Pop, but he lost the squad that, that, that was in the church. All right, well, he's, yeah, he's only got three conscripts left. And Ivan lost an MG. Yeah, up in the north. I showed that on the stream. See, Pop, all right, so, so Pop's hopping in this church, but now it doesn't work anymore because it is hard countered by these flamers. Oh, he doesn't want to lose this mortar squad. They've got a stripe of vet even. With four kills, they're down to two guys. Molotov is in. Will they yeah, survive the retreat? No, they will not. Guards are here. It's a, it's a tooth and nail fight. Oh, those grants are gonna die. To the Faust and then die. And even the squad with flames might die. If a lucky conscript shot from the house. No, does not just take lost them out. Two grants. Yes, he did. And let's see, are they interested in a mortar? Once again, no. Ivan, you okay, gotta set now up. Ivan you gotta set up, my friend. <laughs> Where are they going? We have oh, the they're a little too. Oh, whoa, this guy? <laughs> <laughs> face to face fight. That MG might, might even go down. Oh, man. They really nice. they sat up right in the middle. They sat up. They set up right in the middle of the flames of the Molotov. Okay, what what just happened over here? An M3 finally uh, killed. Yeah, and I think even they... No, not, not a combat engineer squad. No, just the M3. Wow, look at a Pop move into position to pick off the squad when it finally tries to retreat. What are they doing? They're not gonna retreat? They're just gonna go get in the house? Alright. Flames in, kills two models instantly, oh, and it looks like Ivan just that? lost the double vet grins. Yeah, going into that house, not a good idea. Oh, that, that grenade! Oh, oh that's down. That's huge. Uh, oh, man. This oh, another squad wipe. That's intense. Man, the violence. Ivan's gonna be out of units soon. I must say that after the veterans overall, guards became uh, much more viable after the units. The unit since uh, grants do not get plus 6, 78. Armor, so they are much easier to kill. Oh, and the flamethrower destroys. Oh no! That's the best part figure. about that squad, it just blew up, didn't it? One of the guys died and the flames blew up. Ouch, that hurts. Now he really can't counter these houses anymore. Oh no. Oh, he got, uh, gets the kill. Double Vet Grenz retreating by the conscripts in the house. We've seen this before. Second verse, same as the first. And those Grenz will, uh, will live. They managed to kill the M3. Pop's still got one running around, though, and covering the wings, stopping flanks, stopping this MG. No, oh, it's, it's just, we've seen this before. Follow and kill. Here we go yeah, again. Yeah, Ivan needs a tier 3. I mean, he capitalized on tier 1, tier 3, but... And he got many tier 1 scores, but now he needs a tier 3 as soon as possible. Because without them, he's not gonna win. You know? game, that's sure. In fact, he lost just another MG. The humanity, Marcus. The humanity. <laughs> <laughs> so he has just three grants up. He, he might be able to get the mortar. Yes, he's, he got the mortar now. And I think he will get even the MG42. Finally, the tier 3 for my event. Finally. I want to see a P4 now. 
Okay, we've got we've got a demo charge on the strap point outside of Ivan's base oh. in the north. I'll have to keep an eye on that. I would have honestly placed the demo charge also on the MG. That would have been cool. Oh yeah. Where is it again? Oh yeah, there. I, I wonder if Ivan will try to reman it. Pop is excellent at uh, dodging nades into houses. He's really, really good he micro. He's very good quick. Job. Yeah, he he never misses a beat. Now uh, the mortar is just not connecting with its targets. Triple bet grins. Look at Ivan, uh, look at MG Pop. He used the, mer the merge ability of conscripts to get the guards uh, to squad. Very fact, nice. Some of the guards are actually conscripts. Okay. <laughs> now he's aiming for the MG42. Yeah, that's yeah. going to return. Before coming, finally. Is, is MG Pop going to get a, a tier 4 unit anytime soon? Well, we Does have an SU-85 on the way as we speak. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's SU-85 versus P4. As we've seen in previous games of Sunday Night Fights, um, the SU-85 is pretty much going to destroy the P4 if a conscript squad is able to throw an anti grenade on it. That, that's pretty much Wait, what's that bottle? Nuclear bomb just destroys the graduates. Oh, he might have another squad. Alright, P4's out. Let's see if the demo goes off on this triple back run. They're standing right on top. Oh, oh my goodness. What a huge hit. Success on all fronts. All four dudes maimed and dismembered. Triple vet. Grand squad down. I see a crater and lots of blood, Marcus. Yeah. Body parts. What did Fatal say? Body parts. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what a demo charge. I, I, Ivan, that's one of those slam your mouse into the table moments. And the captured MG is suffering the same fate as the one before it, being flamed to death by double vet flamers in the M3. Well, it is. Yeah. I see a big no and a damn and an ouch in the chat. That demo hit hard. Yeah, and now, and now look at the like He's trying to get he's another one going. This one's going to get spotted, though. No, no, that's fine. But those are mine. I mean, uh, oh, okay. I'm pretty sure he wants to damage the engine of I don't them. think they got finished. Lucky, no, lucky for didn't. Ivan, they didn't. <laughs> and I would call Relic on this. Please try fix mines. We want to be able to cancel them. Yeah, they're stuck there. Look, you can't get rid of them, can you? Yeah, you cannot cancel them. Okay, the SU-85 now has eyes on the P4 and lays oh. its first round in. The P4 is way too uh, aggressive. Trying to flank. The conscripts are urod and chasing. They want to lay in an 18 nade. Oh, be okay. I don't like this fight for you, Ivan. You're out on your own, and all the Russians are coming to get you. Now your mobility is slowed. Oh, I bet I, this is not looking good. Oh, oh man. Wow. Wow, man. P4 just sort of tossed away. That hurts. That hurts. These have been violent well and brutal combat. games, Marco. We are seeing some, some insane... Uh, losses of squads and units. Katyusha on the field, SNF welcome. Got to give that a little love. Some dings for the Katyusha. Let's see when it fires. What will Look be at how well MG Pop is microing these uh, M3s. 
he, he still he still be being able to get uh, the entry viable at 20 minutes. Yeah, uh, he's done this before. It's it's yeah. truly amazing. I don't know any other player that can work M3s Marcos. as deep into the game as OMG Pop. Marcos. Oh, you, oh yeah, Marcus. All right, <laughs> show me. Come on, Katusha, fire! I want to see it. Here it comes. Here we go. He's he's positioning. No, he's just going somewhere. Oh darn it! All right, no, he's gonna fire. He's gonna fire. Here we go. No, is he gonna fire? <laughs> you know, he's just moving around. All right, maybe he's gonna go after the border or some of these positions in the center. Yes. No. He's hanging out by a bush. The conscripts are fighting the MG. It's there's too many potential team kills in the center now. He's he's been told to hold fire. Friendly's in the in the combat zone. That MG might go down. Okay, no, it's he can fire at this one. Come on, Caddy. Come on. No? Still no. Alright, next P4 on. I've been sticking around in this one. Here it goes. There we go. The shots are raining in on this MG position from across the map. Yeah, I love it. Fail. Only one thing. Okay, they survived pretty well. Uh, I'm not sure about what I have an issue with that. Or why is he playing so aggressively? Might get an 188 very soon. In fact, the 188 is coming. They just get it and off. Yes, they and just get it, get it off. That, that's throwing the towel. I mean, the S5 is coming. How is he going to save that before? I don't know. It's rough. It's rough, Mark. It is. Oh. <laughs> Just sort of watching this with bated breath, as these tanks they're they're giving each other a snuggle buggle. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a man hug, tank tank man hug, snuggle buggle. This might be it once the P4 goes. One more shot. Oh, you set the ground. Okay. Boom. And the P4 goes to the top. Boom. Katusha reigning in. And it looks like we will shortly have the third Russian victory of our second contender bout on Sunday Night Fights. This is looking bad. Nope, Ivan's gonna fight it out a bit more. Pop has got an overwhelming army. He's now building conscripts. He's just pump, pumping out some conscripts. He's, he's got overall, one, overall, I see the point of why Ivan is playing. I mean, if you look at games, even if he's losing his German games, he's always able to get MG Pop down to. Yeah, that's a certain amount of points. So that's hugely important. The VP management. That, this might this might all come down to VP management. If the Russians yeah. keep winning, then that faction choice in the fifth game, where we add up all of the VP totals from the first four games, could be a make or break. The fourth game will be very important. MG Pop really must try to close it at game four. If he gets to game five. I'm pretty sure Ivan has a, good, a pretty big uh, VP advantage over RMG Pop. So, he might be able to call Soviets and as we saw in the last game, he played the Soviets pretty, pretty well. We've seen Soviets dominate the first three games on Samoski. Will, will they have the same sort of uh, chances on Langerskaya if we go to game five? Or do you feel that the balance on that map is different for the factions? Oh, I, I certainly feel that uh, Russians are, are super strong on this map and they're not as strong as they are on... Uh, they are not as strong on Langerskaya as they are on uh, Semolsky. But I mean, it all 
comes down to how strong you are with a specific faction. And it's pretty clear that, that both these players are more confident as Soviets. Sort of them. Pyos just killed the conscript squad. S -s Small moral victories. I think the difference in this one was uh, squad preservation. Pop has just annihilated so many squads. And, yeah, um, you know, Ivan needs to figure out some kind of doctrinal method or a pack or he just, he's not dealing with the M3s in any, uh, he's not making any, any strategic decisions to try to deal with those double M3s. You have to change your game. You have to, I mean, what? You have to adapt your play style to what your opponent is going to and, and what That's do you suggest? If, if Pop did this to you and you were to face him again, no, knowing he would go double M3 flamers, what would you do as Vermont? I would have gone instantly tier 2 and an armored car. Instantly. All right. There is no way you can counter an, ar an armored car with M3s. Even with guards. I mean, even the Marcus car is not enough to counter the... The, the, the current armor card because it just deals so much more damage that Scott Card dies, the M3 dies before he's able to do the armored card. Yeah, the up, up ground race series, really beautiful hard counter to this M3 play. Oh, Katusha Rockets killing grands. Honestly, I would, it's yeah, on retreat. I would honestly uh, even thought for a second about the unique preservation. Uh, I think that Evan was pretty much able to call 10 or 15 probably gang squads on the field. That's... don't you feel it's a bit... Uh, tell me, please tell me strange. you're exaggerating. No, I think he, he, he called at least 10 gang squads. Oh, um, you gotta overall. be... that is just insane. Look at, uh, this I, M3, I look at this M3 kicking into overdrive at 27 minutes. Crazy unit! What a crazy unit! How many kills did they get? Well, it has three kills, but the flamers yeah, that have been garrisoning it have 23. 23. Oh, 23. Demolished. I'm gonna roll the video, guys. Uh, stick with us. Got something to say before we go to break. OMG Pop has just taken a one-game lead. He's up two to one in this best of five series. Uh, when we come back from the break, we're going to be giving away our commanders for tonight. So follow us, press the, press the purple button, and you will be eligible to be in our drawing lottery for um, seven free commanders that we're going to give away. So uh, get ready for that. Hit follow. We're going to start drawing names at the break, and we'll announce them when we come back. Stick with us. We'll be yeah. back with game number four. Stick with us.